pushing the outside of the clamp bits together so that it could spring back out when you uh, unscrewed it. So I decided that they were wire drawn through a die, gathered on a draw block, they were cut to size, then they were bent into shape. These clamp bits were a little bit tricky because it seemed like every single side of them were machined of some sort, but I decided they were closed die forged because they had a pretty close tolerance, and they had some draft angle, which I saw in my notes that you needed, and they have two bores that are made not all the way through on opposite sides of each other, on all three of them. The gear looks like it was made out of through sand casting made with very fine sand, it's cast iron. A wooden model is made, put in sand, and the sand poured around it making a mold. The liquid metal is poured into the mold and, the, and it cooled. The outside is necked into two spots around the piece and each gear is sharpened. And three holes are drilled. The compression plate is blanked off of a sheet of low carbon steel. The top of the bit holder is made from low carbon steel bar stock. The bar is cut to size, drilled a half an inch hole and tap it all the way through. End face the top of it and right under the edge, externally threaded and then they knurled the outside. The bottom of the bit holder is a little bit different. It's made out of low carbon steel sheet metal. It's blank from the sheet metal, spun on a mandrel and bent to shape, knurled on the flat section, and then is internally threaded or tapped. The crank screw is made out of low carbon steel. It is extruded through, the, through a set die and cut to length. It is upset forged to make the screw and is externally threaded. And the slot is plain and milled. The crank arm is made from low carbon steel sheet metal. It is blank from the sheet metal, pierced for the adjustable holes, and an upset forged rod is pressed into the hole in one of the holes, and a wooden handle is placed on it. The main drive shaft is made out of low carbon steel bar stock. The end is externally threaded. Two holes are bored towards the middle. It is necked right before the threads, and a wooden handle is adhered to the back and painted blue. The drill bit is made out of high carbon steel, is extruded through a die, cut to length, and plain end milled on opposite sides on a mill cutter. The wood handle is made out of a hard wood, I chose oak. It is cut to length, bored and tapped with the taper boring at the top, form turned, and then painted red. Lastly, the two gears on the shaft are made out of low carbon steel bar stock. They are cut to length, closed die forged, and a hole is bored through the center.